Mr. Murphy, an honor, sir. Thank you for your time. Oh, pleasure. Uh, I'm going to start out with, with what is a big question, but I was wondering if for a moment you could imagine sitting in a movie theater with Robert Oppenheimer and watching this film. And when it's over, oh. you lean over and ask him, what did you think about how I did this? What is the aspect of your performance you'd love to get his thoughts on? Oh, man, that would be an absolute nightmare for me to, <laughs> to sit beside the man you're supposed to be portraying. I, I don't know. I mean, I think we investigated uh, and interrogated the man. Uh, and I think it's up to the audience to kind of decide and to judge or not what they, what they think of, of him. You know, the film asks a lot of big questions, I think, and that's, what's, that's what good films should do, I think, but they don't give too many answers. Mm -hmm. uh, so, thankfully, I will never have to ask Robert Oppenheimer, yeah. Fair enough. I was wondering if you could flash back to the very first time you were ever directed by Christopher Nolan, which I believe was the screen oh, test yeah. for Batman. Yeah. I'm just sort of curious what you remember most about that day, a, a young Christopher Nolan, auditioning for that part, just all the details of that day. What still stands out to you all the years later? Oh, that's a good question. I remember it was, for a screen test, there was very high production value. It was like we had a full set and we shot on film and you know, it was the, the, the crew um, and I was in the Val Kilmer suit, I remember. Every one of us that auditioned was in the Val Kilmer suit. Um, but I just remember he, he was brilliant with, with actors and that, that's one of his you know, key talents is he's amazing with actors. He gives the most succinct, precise notes that can kind of change your performance. And um, and I remember we got on. Mm -hmm. I remember we got on um, and we've, you know, we connected in some way and it's it's kept going for 20 years. I love that. Yeah. Uh, I want to talk about uh, Robert Oppenheimer's famous interview when he quoted Hindu scripture, I am become death. Yeah. I've seen that clip a million times and it was always powerful whenever I watched it. Yeah. But I feel like it's changed forever for me, having now seen this film. Yeah. I'm curious as to what you pulled most from that clip and how that line, his delivery of that line, has since changed for you since playing this part. Hmm. It's very interesting. Yeah, it's kind of an iconic clip, isn't it? Um, the thing that I, struck me a lot watching a lot of those videos, because there's, there's an awful lot of footage of him giving lectures, mm -hmm. And that's one of the rare kind of candid interviews. But I found throughout a lot of it, he is quite performative uh, in a lot of those uh, interviews, and particularly in the lectures. And while that was very useful for one aspect of his character, it wasn't entirely useful for me uh, in terms of the sort of day-to-day -day, uh, man in his day-to-day -day life. Um, I don't think, I think you can feel the history and the kind of, the weight uh, when he says that, and you could see it in his face and in his eyes. Mm -hmm. um, Something about him looking down, yeah. I feel like, says a yeah. lot. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it's an incredible clip. Uh, I, w I want to cut you loose on this. Um, goes without saying, your sixth time working with Mr. Nolan. And I'd imagine at a certain point, it goes without saying, there's a trust there that you can't yeah. replicate. So I am curious, what is something you were able to do with this role, with this performance, in this film, that you wouldn't have been able to do if it had been your first time working with Christopher Nolan? <laughs> well, I, 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 I think that, that's a very good question. I think, you know, you, you move beyond the fact that he is Christopher Nolan, one of the greatest directors in the world, and, you, you know, you've become friends. So you, you, you feel very safe in the working environment to try stuff and to make a fool of yourself and to, to go deep and uh, to have a laugh. And, and we worked really, really closely on it. Um, and I suppose those 20 years of experience have, uh, have led to that level of trust and to that level of shorthand. Um, and also I'm kind of older and I've had a lot of experience. I remember being on those Batman sets and just being overwhelmed. It was, I was like a kid in a candy store. It was, it was kind of staggering. Whereas now I suppose I'm, uh, I've had the experience. I'm a lot more focused, I hope. Oh, we are the beneficiary of that experience. I always like to think the good doctor's still out there somewhere <laughs> in Gotham having a good time. Well, he probably yeah. is, yeah. Uh, Mr. Murphy, sometimes you do junkets for a movie and you just feel like it's important to, to do that and it's important to be a part of this film in some small fashion sitting in this chair and this feels like one of those movies. So oh, from the bottom thanks, of my heart, man. I know you have a packed schedule, man. Thank you for your time. Oh, that's it. very kind. Thanks, man. Thank you, sir. Appreciate good, you. Good to chat.